Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We had Foot Player Days released again. The second time this year, Foot Player Days has been released basically one month after it came out in early March. Uh, a promo that was seemingly just used to bring SBC fodder back down to a, realis a realistic level has again come out uh, after Foot Birthday on a Friday where we thought it might be a non-tent Friday. EA goes out and drop some madness. Crazy market movements, a lot of panic selling. There's a lot going on with this game and there's a lot to talk about going forward because we're gonna continue to get, in my opinion, two for one packs, more SBCs, and again, potentially that Icon SBC could come out during this Foot Player Days promo. So this is until Tuesday at 6 p.m. So it's basically for the weekend and Monday, they're gonna run this Foot Player Days promo. We have the Foot Encore squad that is in packs. Honestly, one of the most random assortments of special cards I've ever seen to be thrown back into packs. If you had any of these cards tradable in your team, uh, you honestly got hosed. Uh, you got screwed by EA, to be completely honest. I'm glad that I sold my 92 Kimmiches uh, on Thursday for Thursday flips. I sold that man at... 437,000 coins and right now he is 210k so huge drop-offs across the board that's what happens when this stuff gets uh when this stuff gets put back into packs you have the combination especially in those first hour or two of people who had this in their in their club they panic sell it uh so you have the combination of the brand new supply coming out and the panic selling of people wanting to sell it before it drops lower and you have crazy price drops. Now, some of these cards have rebounded, right? St. Maxim was almost down to 400K flat. He's back to almost 500K. Kamavinga was in the low 800s. He's back to 950. So you do have a lot of fluctuations with these cards too because that panic and supply comes to a halt and they rise back up because they're still in demand. And also these cards got a lot cheaper. But this does a lot for the market. And of course, the other stuff that was released, the 81 plus player picks, the Carrer and Toliso SBCs, and the 85 times five, there was a lot of stuff happening on the market yesterday. Now we have seen a lot of the stuff on the market uh, rebound back, out of pack specials, some icons, stuff has gotten rare and it's bounced back tonight. But I'm also gonna talk about in this video what could keep happening, especially today on Saturday, and how that since this 81 plus player pick is out, man, if there's any SBCs that come out this week, uh, and even just since this is out, people just do this SBC and it's going to drain coins off of the game, in my opinion. So I'm a little bit, I guess, a little bit worried about what this SBC could do to the market, this 81 plus player pick, because if we if we get an icon SBC today or on Sunday, then that player pick is going to be what everybody is spamming to try to craft build that SBC if it does come out. So first things first, let's take a look at some of these foot encore players that were added back into packs today. First example, and probably the most hyped one is Alan St. Maximin. Uh, this guy was about 615,000 coins before dropping down into the low 400s earlier on Friday with all the supply and the panic selling combined in one. Uh, look at the looking at the hourly graph, you can see it, right? 660k, boom, huge drop off. About two hours after um, the whole you know promotion kicked off, and the panic started. The panic started one hour right before. Um, but obviously, when the loading screen was first released, we had no idea they were going to put cards like this back into packs. So during that second, the third hour. He got all the way down to 430 under that a few undercuts under 430k during those 100k lightning rounds for two for one packs he rebounded all the way back to 513 went back down in the early morning hours to 475 and is now kind of chilling at around 500k that was a big fluctuation for that card kamavinga had a really big fluctuation as well he was down in the 800k range on the playstation down in the eight 50s honestly it was probably 830 at one point rebounded almost back to a mil so that's the thing when you see stuff like this get re-released back into packs um if it's a very hyped up card very expensive card that's still going to be somewhat rare that panic selling and that supply all happening in a short time period people just sell because they think it's going to go lower and then of course that new supply coming in from lightning rounds it all kind of bunches up and it hits a low point pretty soon in the first two hours and then it does bounce back as these cards get rare right now he's 950k but this stuff in my opinion it's bounced back because there's weakened league demand and these cards are going to go lower of course as they are in packs and as they are going to get supplied um 
again today. There's probably going to be more two for one lightning round packs. When they did this promotion last time, they ran lightning rounds every single day of the promo. So if you bought a Kamavinga at a very low price, a St. Maxman, a Teo Hernandez, Van Dyke, Sancho, any of the cards that are in the team, the Foot Encore squad, I would highly recommend probably getting them out, right? The Friday night into Saturday morning time frame is where the weekend league demand is at its highest. And uh, I see this really being the peak for some of these cards in the next couple of days that are inside of the squad because they're going to continue to get packed, probably drop down in price. If we have some sort of icon SBC as well, that's going to bring more panic to the market. People are going to sell some cards in their team to, of course, go out and do that SBC. But uh, that was the biggest thing today in terms of cards that moved on the market. Now, there was a lot of panic selling in other areas as well. I bought um, a couple Diadas Regulons today, uh, and these Diadas have rebounded massively. So what happened today or yesterday at 6 p.m. Uh, was people went out and they sold stuff, right? People were panic selling on this market because all the stuff they had bought yesterday for their teams, they, you know, they were a lot of stuff was very inflated, right? The market was very, very high. People saw the player picks come back out. They saw this 85 times five with special cards in packs, and they saw this Tilo Carrera. And I think the combination of the two for one packs and all these SBCs uh, really caused people to panic sell. They wanted to, to sell stuff. And I think people are just addicted to these 81 plus player picks. Literally, anytime these come out, people are spamming them. They're selling their cards to go and do these picks. Now, one reason I knew that people are panic selling their cards on the market to go and do those player picks is because you have gold rares up at a thousand coins a piece. Now, I don't know if that's still the case or not, but basically all gold rares today were around a thousand coins. Now they've dropped off a little bit, as you can see right now from that supply probably, but I think right away they were all around a thousand coins. So that just goes to show you how much demand there was for those 81 plus player picks right away early on when they dropped. And there's gonna be continued demand, especially if we get more big time SBCs or icon SBCs later on this weekend. So this Tilo Carrera card though, is got a lot of hype at the moment. Five star weak foot, take a look at this card. 3,300 upvotes on Footbin. Very, very popular looking card. Decent price tag, 200,000 coins. Very craftable of course with that 81 plus player pick that is out. And uh, this is like the ultimate link to the cards that we have had in Foot Birthday, right? You have League One links to Renato Sanchez, to Awar, to Atal. Uh, you have the German links to Gunter, to Royce, to Podolski, to Ozil. You have a lot of those links combined in one card. Pretty solid looking card right here. And if PSG win, if PSG can win against Bayern in the second leg. Now, of course, that first leg was madness, right? Um, but the second leg, it's, it all comes down to the second leg. It's not about who goes through, right? The showdown SBCs are for that specific game, right? Unlike the road to the finals, or those get upgraded for going through to the next round, these will get upgraded for that specific game. So if they draw on the next game, uh, 87 rated Carrera, 87 rated Toliso, if either team wins, they get a plus two. So obviously a lot of people in FIFA just became PSG fans if they were neutral before, because if this card gets a plus two, he's gonna look ridiculous. And I think a lot of people are doing this career SBC. Also, this is one of the biggest scam SBCs I've ever seen in my entire life. The 85 times five upgrade is a scam. I mean, you're turning in an 85 rated squad and an in form for 585 plus players. And so many of the packs that I saw today, like 87 was the highest rated player. You need like 89s and, a, and like multiple 87s at least to like make your money back from this SBC or you have to pack a promo card. So this one for me is always a big scam. I'm staying far away from that one. But also what this 81 plus player pick means is that you have a lot of other Foot birthday SBCs that are still available, right? You've got Renato who's still out for 13 days. You've got Eric Bay with a couple days left. Condogbia. I think Royce is still out as well. St. Juste. You have Mbappe, player of the month. So with this 81 plus available over this foot birth or sorry, this foot player days promo, you're just going to have more and more people doing this because they purely want to go and complete SBCs for a lower price. And these player picks are just, they have the reputation this year of being so craftable, so good value, and they just get spammed. So that's why I think you saw a lot of panic selling on the market earlier today. Now you have seen stuff rebound back and I'm not talking about fodder just yet. I'm going to talk about SBC fodder in a little bit, but 
let's talk about some full birthday cards because these were panic sold like crazy one hour before content drop when we saw that foot player days loading screen people went out and they sold their foot birthdays like nuts it was honestly crazy to see huge drop offs this graph does not do it justice this kent was down at almost 550,000 coins right before the content drop and literally when the content dropped people saw foot birthdays were not back in packs they went out and they reinvested and bought these cards back up he went all the way back to 642 right now he's kind of back down to 605 now i, I honestly don't know how much these full birthdays are going to really go up out of the weekend with that 81 plus player pick live. If we get more SBCs, that's going to be the focus now on this game for the next two, three days is going to be those player picks. What SBCs can people craft with player picks? Because that gives them something to do on this game. Uh, but like a tall 770,000 coins, this guy was 680 for a hot second, 680, 690 for a quick second in the panic selling earlier this morning. Uh, EA also messed up his price range just for a little bit as well. Uh, they reverted it back to 750K, but then it has now been switched back to 1.4 mil and he is 770K. So crazy movements on these cards. Like um, I think Gunter was down under 100K. Modric was like 270. Chan was like 255. Awar was like 8, 850, I think Awar was. Um, so you had a lot of panic selling on those cards. You had a lot of pa panic selling on some of the what ifs as well. And this is actually where I spent some of my coins today. I saw a lot of panic selling on these and I said, this is getting ridiculous. I bought regular lines at 240,000 coins. He has since went, went up to about 270, where I've sold some of mine. Thalvin was in the 230s. He went back up to 270. This Diata was a huge one. I bought three Diatas at 240K. I actually sold them too early at 270 because he has gone to 280 and above. Um, but a lot of a lot of that panic selling was happening in the first or second hour after these cards were released. Lehman Lu was down at 80K. I bought a couple of those. Conte was under 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, this Mbabu was like 360 for a hot second. There was a lot of panic selling across the market because people were going and doing those player picks right away. Fatih was like 165. Um, you know, some of the stuff is still kind of low. Anthony was down in the lower 300s. This new house was 140. He's down to 115 and he stayed there. Tapsoba was 590. He's down to 530 and he stayed there. So uh, you just saw a lot of panic selling and the stuff that is meta and popular. And especially links like this Holland, I bought at 47 or sorry, 482. I think I bought one at. I sold it at 525 for a nice flip, but he's 543 with those links to the brand new Sancho uh, that is out, of course, as a part of this team that has made him a lot cheaper. So I wonder if people are buying that Holland to go and link him together. But uh, there was just a lot of panic selling that happened yesterday, and there was plenty of profit to be made because of it. I bought a Vardy foot birthday at 800K flat, sold that at 870. Uh, this Berchiche I got at 162 or something like that, 1,000 coins, uh, and I'm still working on selling the rest of my stuff that I do have here. I've still got some cards. Now, I also have some fodder, right? And I bought these cards at, you know, okay prices where they were. I bought this Casemiro at 59,000 coins. I bought this Busquets. How much did I buy Busquets for? 35K. So I got decent prices for a lot of my fodder, but with this supply, fodder has just continued to drop. And let's take a look at fodder right now because a lot of you guys are curious and want to talk about this. Now, there were like two situations that happened with fodder today. Now, right away when the content dropped, you had a lot of stuff start to drop. You also had before the content drop, when the loading screen happened, people started panic selling their fodder like mad because... They, they knew the Foot Player Days promo was bringing two-for-one packs. So this stuff went down. Um, but some of the really good linking 84s like Alaba, like Sule, um, I think like Felipe, maybe Jimenez, that stuff went up and it went up a decent chunk. Some of the 85s went up too, just for like the, an hour or so as people went out and did that 85 times five pack and the Carrera and Taliso SBCs. So you saw a nice bounce back on that stuff. But again, it is still continuing to drop lower. And this is what I want to really talk about in the second half of this video is what's going to happen with fodder and what's going to happen with special cards over the next couple of days. Because again, like I just mentioned, a lot of the stuff that is out of packs or even some that was in packs, right? You saw those cards that got spammed today with the supply, like this messy and this hazard that are back in packs. You saw them get slammed with supply today. Um, 
but also you have a lot of extra demand right now for the weekend league. So in my opinion, a lot of this stuff is going to drop lower because people are going to be focused on the player picks, focused on crafting SBCs. So that's, that's kind of what I would say right now is watch out. I would watch out for a lot of this stuff to go lower and that's fodder included, right? Remember what, what happened last time? Last time we had foot player days, this SBC was out and available. And what happened, right? He was 2.1 million coins. Foot player days started right here. He went from 1.9 mil. And by the time foot player days ended, he was 1.7 million coins. Actually, foot player days ended on that Friday. He was 1.6 mil. So the fighter just kept dropping all week long. And then it really rebounded big after that. And that was like the last time that we had an icon SBC available in that mid-March time frame. So um, there is a possibility for fodder if we don't get any big time SBC to continue to drop throughout this week, in my opinion. So that's why it's a little bit concerning. If you've invested in the high rated fodder, you just really need an SBC, right? You really need an SBC. And then if they do drop some sort of big time SBC, is fodder really going to go up that much? Because it's invested in number one, people are investing in it, it would have to be a crazy, crazy SBC It'd have to be one of those icon player picks for sure, to make fodder go up because what's going to happen then is people know that 81 plus player pick is out, they're going to go and craft that. Uh, and with the supply coming in from the two for one packs, you're just going to see a crazy amount of supply for that tradable fodder on the market too, because um, people are going to go out and they're going to open those packs with coins or open the FIFA points, um, because they get two packs instead of one. People always go bananas for that stuff. So for today on Saturday, obviously I'm not entirely sure what's going to be released SBC wise. They say here, uh, that there's themed SBCs and objectives that will be released during this promo. Um, we already have one objective that came out. I do expect them to do the two for one packs again today. I think they'll do it every single day of this foot player days promo. Uh, and that's going to bring some supply to the market. Again, as I mentioned, some of this out of pack stuff that is rebounded back, I'm going to take the cash on it because the markets really went up a decent amount this weekend. And I'm not going to risk it because I just think I know that with all of this stuff coming, and with all of these, you know, potential SBCs coming and people just love spamming their coins into these player pick SBCs, um, I really, really, really do feel like uh, we're going to see a lot of the market drop off after this weekend, just because the focus is going to be on those 81 plus player picks. If we do get some sort of big SBC, people can grind towards and craft as well. Uh, I think you're just going to continue to see more and more people do that. So that's one thing that I'd be very aware of and very careful of, but um, a lot of stuff has, has kind of crashed in price along with those cards that were of course in uh, the packs you know, you saw a lot of that panic selling on the out of pack specials. Now, one area of the market that I would really try to keep in tune with is road to the finals, because the ones that are not re released, Pogba was 580 at one point yesterday, this Alaba was at 380. If you want to make a speculative play, some of the road to the finals that are playing next week on Tuesday and Wednesday, specifically this Alaba and the Alfonso Davies, uh, of course, Bayern look like they could mount a comeback in the second leg based on how well they performed in leg one, even without Lewandowski and Nabry. This Alaba card and the Davies, I think, will start to rise throughout the week um, with the hype of them pregame. So watch the road to the finals and stuff like that. And they're just generally really rare cards uh, as well. So they flex around a decent amount and also what i would say is be very very careful with these cards um like teo hernandez's headliner is is just dropped down incredible amounts in price i don't really want to get involved with any of these other special cards until this one kind of goes out of packs because right now he's really squishing the value of this 85 team in the group stage, this 86 inform and the 83, because this, this highest rated one, the headliner is just so cheap. So same thing with like Kimmich, you know, this Kimmich inform was like 400 K and now he's down to 204, which seems ridiculously cheap. And some of this stuff could rebound a little bit out of packs, but I think literally all of this stuff on the market, the stuff that is in packs, the encore squad, the fodder, and even the out of pack stuff, I think it's going to drop lower during this weekend because people are going to, going to focus on the player picks. They're going to try to craft SBCs and stuff like that. But this also is going to make it an incredible, incredible market to trade in. Uh, there's going to be fluctuations galore. There's going to be supply. So icons, I was watching a lot of icon moments today. Let's get on the 59th really fast. Just one quick check and see what's out there. I was seeing so many fresh icons 
pop up today. Uh, people were packing them like crazy with those two for one packs. They were getting supplied a lot. Now, a lot of these icons don't look like they've really gone up that much in price. Maybe some of them have. Uh, like this kind of Varl was in the low one fives. He gets, your, gets really rare at night. So he's up like 100K. Um, but I think that a lot of these icons won't move too much. What we saw last time with foot player days was the icons really dropped off and it took them a little bit to rebound back um, uh, because there was just supply every single day for these cards, especially as we near closer and closer to team of the season. Uh, we could even hear team of the season information as as close as this Friday. Really, we could hear information as soon as this Friday. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market right now. I don't really feel like I would be investing in any sorts of players right now. I'd be quick flipping. I'd be trading because again, when that 81 plus player pick is out, that is what everybody focuses in on, right? And EA is going to release some SBCs that people can try to, you know, craft and try to trade with and, uh, you know, make some coins on or do for a cheaper price than they would be able to if they were just doing out of pocket. So I, again, feel like that's going to be the focus for a lot of people this week. Um, you know, the baby icons like this Roberto Carlos, who is just very, very rare. I bought this at 615. I'm trying to get a cheeky sale at 660. Uh, but a lot of this stuff has dropped off too. With Luis Figo pre-content today, was 420,000 coins and right now he's he's 380 just because of that drop this garantia was like 1.1 he is really not rebounded that well he's down at like 1.03 so i really feel like a lot of this stuff is going to continue to go down as we head out through the rest of this weekend now ea could really make this foot player days promo something if they dropped an icon spc you guys know it i know it that's what everybody still wants because i feel like if they're gonna give us these 81 plus player picks Yes, we have foot birthday SBCs and we have these new showdowns that you could quote unquote craft. Um, but a lot of people have probably already done the foot player or the foot birthday SBCs that they've really wanted to do. So um, I think I think we're going to get some sort of big SBC. I don't know what it's going to be, if it's the, a flashback player, if it's a, you know, player moments or what it's going to be. But I, I think we're going to get some decent SBCs during this promo because that just seems one big last like a coin suck pre team of the season would be huge potential right here. There's, there's huge potential for that uh right here right now in this game so that's kind of how i'm feeling about foot player days man let me know down in the comments down below how you feel a lot of you guys probably invested in fodder and you feel a little bit hard done by and maybe screwed over a little bit by ea because the both times they've dropped this promo um it's been where fodder has been you know at a place where now last time they dropped it fodder was crazy high as we looked at with the Balak sbc or with the messy sbc um but Fodder has been such a huge point of investment lately. And this kind of feels like EA saying, screw you fodder investors. We're going to drop your fodder. Um, so who knows if they're going to release an icon SPC or not to make that go up. But again, I do foresee a lot of stuff continuing to go down because again, I think that hype is going to turn into player picks, but there's still going to be great fluctuations on the market to trade with uh, the cards in packs, the cards out of packs and all that good stuff. So let's see what EA continues to drop with foot player days. Hopefully it's dope. Hopefully there's an Icon SBC involved because everybody would want that. And I, you know what? EA, just drop the Icon SBC so I can quit talking about it. And so people on Twitter can stop tweeting about it, all right? Just drop it so we can get it done and over with before team of the season, all right? That's my final opinion. If you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.